What's up guys, Trevor here from Blackside Division, Haley Strategic, and today we're going to be talking about the accessories of our new thorax plate carrier. Now, I know I promised you in the last video that we were going to go in depth on this, and as promised, that's exactly what we're going to do. So what are we going to be talking about specifically? We're going to be talking about our new Molly Placard, our new TRMP, as well as all of the old stuff like our legacy items such as our X's and our heavies that are still compatible with our new stuff today. So let's get right into it. So now that we got our Ranger Green Thorax on, let's talk about our first accessory, and that's the, the TRMP. The TRMP is essentially a triple rifle mag placard, and this was a collaboration between Onward Research and Haley Strategic. If you're not familiar with them, uh, their founder is uh, a little known YouTuber and goes by the name of Grand Thumb, so maybe go check him out. What makes this so special? Well, what makes this so special is that it allows you to fit any standard magazine, so we got our 308 P mags, our 545 AK mags, and not sacrifice speed and efficiency as you can see when indexing or re-indexing magazines. Now, if you don't want to utilize this MP2, you can pull this out. So for my law enforcement guys out there that want to run maybe a Motorola radio in there, just pull this MP2 out, put your radio in, put your retainer band that comes with the kit anyways, and then you have a nice radio pouch on the front to run with your magazines. You can also take this MP2 out and the MP2 in each slot out and run it as a slick placard so it has an even lower profile. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the woven elastic pouches and pass-throughs that are on the front of this. Why is that such an important thing and why are we why are we going to need it? So this mag placard essentially bridges a gap between full-on chest rigs and Molly placards and it allows you to plug and play as you go. So for my medics out there, that roll up to some guy that's you know on the battlefield that needs some work on, uh, done on him. You break open his IFAC, you pull out his chest seal maybe, and then you, you break out your shears. You start to cut his shirt open or his, his blouse open, then you can, you can use this elastic as a stow point for temporary storage while you break out your chest seal and work on your guy, maybe your nasal pharyngeal, something like that. Or if you wanna just run it kind of simple like I have set up here, you can run a tourniquet and it has our pass-through system on the right and the left side which allows you to run full-size tourniquets in there. Now something similar to that, we have a tourniquet on the right side and the compass shoved into our pocket which the center pocket I'd like to note is actually stitched at the bottom so if you throw right in the reins, pens, sharpies, stuff like that, it doesn't fall all the way through. So you, keep, you can keep retention of that stuff. Uh, here I've got a little Suunto compass and again you can plug and play whatever your mission requires, it'll fit. Now, one last thing I want to leave you with is the availability of our new TRMP. The TRMP is going to be available for those who want to get their hands on it early with the purchase of a Thorax plate carrier. So if you're looking to get your hands on this as a standalone item, stand by for the global release where you're going to see a video from Travis and Mike coming out very soon. All right, so let's talk about our radio setup and our radio pouch that we have. So we have our new padded prick pocket that this 152 is actually sitting in and the unique thing about this is that it's an ambidextrous system so I can just take this squadron base and instead of having it installed at the bottom I could just pull it out flip it to the top and then take our elastic retainer band and do the same exact thing so for my JTACs out there anybody that's running an internal system or dual system you can just easily plug and play and this is great because it has those three-sided walls that are padded so it doesn't create any hot spots when you're wearing this for a really long time out on a mission. So let's move up to our PTT and you can see that our PTT here is actually attached to our PTT bar but if you don't want to do that you can retainer band it. It's another option that's just you know on the little bit slimmer side. Both, both work. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. And if you come down through our Tweave channel you can see a really nice clean cable management system and with more and more radios making their way onto the battlefield, cable management is becoming an increasingly important thing on your, on your load bearing equipment. We've got our Disco 32 cable that's running into the top gusset of our cummerbund and it's actually a little bit long but we have it rolled up inside and then routed out the rear port of our cummerbund. And finally ending up just attached to the rear of our plate bag with our paracord on the lateral left and la right lateral sides. Finally, coming up, you got your PTT cable and our down lead that's actually routed back. So if you want to route this into your headset, all you got to do is just give it a little yank, attach it to your headset, and you're good to go. Okay, so that covers our new TRMP as well as our padded prick pocket and our cable management system along with our PTT mounting options. The next system we're going to be looking at is going to have our chicken strap accessories as well as our new Molly placard. 
Now that we've got our next setup on, let's take a look at how we have our new Molly placard configured. So this placard set up as two rifle and one frag. Keep in mind, not every pouch you see on my rig or on this table are going to be available quite yet, but keep an eye out for them because they'll be released soon. Down here, we've got our new flash pouch as well as a few pistol mag and rifle mag pouches attached to this. So this is really something for my DIYers, my plug and players. If you need something that's very custom, you don't want to buy something that's pre-built or pre-made, this placard is for you to make the ultimate customizable loadout for you that works around you. Now, for my military guys out there, if you guys are rocking Islids for call for fire operations, we have our new Islid pouch coming out from our black side, as well as our multi-tool pouch, our rifle mag pouch, which is available on our website, and the not yet released but very anticipated smoke pouch. Again, stand by for that. As you can see, we have a X harness that's attached to this Molly placard just to demonstrate the extra capability that it has. So you can go ahead and buy an X or an H harness, which we sell on our website, and run this not only on your plate carrier, but as a standalone item as well. So let's talk about our chicken strap and the accessories that go with it. What makes a chicken strap so unique is that it's not only rigid so you can mount armor and radios to it, but it has a pass-through system that allows you to mount your internal pouches and still have access to your external Molly. So right here you can see we have our chicken strap prick pocket with our 152 inside of it, and we're running our cable management tab right over the top of that. Now, let's talk about our chicken strap plate pocket. This was designed around the MSAPI style of plate, and that's due to special operation needs. That's not to say that different pouches aren't going to be offered in the future. So you take a look, I have my Disco 32 cable being routed into the top of the plate pocket. And this tweeve channel, once again, cable management is key here. It keeps it nice and clean and organized. It runs to our, our rear, which we have another cable management tab set up here to our chicken strap. And then finally, you can see in my back panel, I have the VMAS system by Disco 32. It's a great little system if you want to eliminate that interference you have, even with short whips or some of our longer whips, which you'll see, we'll show you a system like that here pretty, pretty soon. But that VMAS is a really slick system from Disco 32 that is just another option for you guys. Okay, really briefly, I want to talk about our legacy items, like our heavies and our D3 Sierra X like I have right here. Here I'm using it with our side tension system. You don't have to, but I prefer to use it with a side tension system just because it gives it that nice, clean finish and it holds it tight to my body. If that doesn't make a difference to you, then by no means do you have to buy it, but it is an option for you on our website. If you look on my side, I am running side armor M Sappy plates, and it's secured via our armor cap. Now, this works in conjunction with the gusset system that we have with our cummerbund. It has Velcro on either side of it, and it secures it right in place. Now, with that in mind, I want to note that you do gain about a half an inch to an inch on either side of your chest rig when you're running our heavy or our X. So keep that in mind when you are sizing your cummerbund, and just know that you can float it in and out and space it however it needs to fit you. Okay, so for our fourth and final setup, you can see that we have our war rig. This thing's really loaded down. We've got our D3 CR Heavy loaded up with our SCAR mags, a couple pistol mags, and we've got our side entry system on either side. Now, like we talked about in our components video, this is an easy integration. You just simply take your straps on the top and bottom on both sides of your Heavy or your X, run it through our laser cuts, and then onto the C-clamps to give you a really secure mounting system. Now, some people might be asking, like we had in the last video, about what about tubes, what about you know first spear tubes, and we have a relationship with first spear, and that's not to say we're not going to have tubes or similar accessories that are compatible with our TPC side entry system, but for right now, we're going to stick with the side entry system. It's a great one. It's coming back. Uh, I know Travis has had a lot of experience with it, so we'll keep that in mind for the future. Now, moving over to here with my radio, we've got our our Prick 152 sitting in our padded Prick pouch with our long whip antenna. So in case you got to reach God right before you drop some warheads on foreheads, you can go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Side armor. I'd like to take this opportunity to just say, for the time being, we don't have a solution for running side armor plates with the side entry system. With the exception of running a large cummerbund, you just don't have enough real estate on it. And we're working on that on our black side. Now, to move forward, if you look up top here, we've got our Juggernaut case, which is an end user device, and you can also run a Cogworks or anything else that has a similar footprint. But for here, we have our, our Juggernaut case, and this isn't something that's just specific to our military guys like my JTACs out there. It's actually becoming pretty popular with our, you know, our Blue Force Tracker and Airsoft events that I've actually seen out there. So anything that is Molly compatible and fits the same footprint, you can go ahead and mount that on your chest. 
Moving over to our back, you can see we have an American flag for my military guys that know, know the meaning of that. And then of course our flat pack. Now the flat pack is utilizing our piggyback system and I'll go ahead and unclip this piggyback system real quick for you so you can just take a look. So if you're an 18 Delta, let's say, or you're a corpsman, you need to gain essential items really quickly, you can swing this to the front or actually just take this off entirely, throw it on the ground, and then start working on your patient. The last thing I wanna to touch on really briefly is that as you can see, I've got an American flag on my back panel. And really simply, that's just attached with some shock cord looped around our gutted paracord that's located on the left and the right side of our plate bag. It's not limited to an American flag. You can put a breech pan, antenna, anything that's mission essential, really, it's completely up to you. Guys, thanks for joining me today. I know that it was a lot of information to take in and there's a lot of accessories and considerations to take in with this new system. I hope I helped you out. This is Trevor with Blackside Hey Strategic. We'll see you on the next one.